got our first plane coming in. Good morning, St. Martin. Welcome to day four on the trip, day three on the ship. So when you come to St. Martin, it's known for that beach where the airplane's coming in, Maho Beach. So we're gonna go check that out, and then we're gonna go to Mullet Bay. So right now we just left the ship, and we're gonna find a taxi. We made it over to Maho Beach. It was a little further than I thought. It took like 20 minutes to get here. It's on the other side of the island. So here's the airport. This is where all the planes are going to be coming in. The cab ride was $16 each person round trip. So the time right now is 10 a.m. So the key to these port days is to get up early and get to your destination as fast as you can to enjoy the whole day. This beach is not too busy right now, but this is not where we're gonna be staying the whole day. We're gonna go to Mullet Bay. I think he said walk down that way about 15 minutes or so. And right over there is where the taxis are at the end of this road. The plane is taking off right here. You'll feel the jet blast. We're gonna stay here for a little bit, see if we can see a couple airplanes. And then we're gonna head over there. We got our first plane coming in. The plane's about to take off, so everyone is standing here to feel the jet blast. But I've been talking to a few people, they say the sand really hurts. And hold on to your stuff, because if it's a big plane, it can get blown into the water. So that wasn't bad at all. That was fine. I think it's the big commercial planes that are the the problem here. So, no one, nobody budged here. We haven't seen a big one yet, that was small. That one guy scared me, he said you gotta run into the water for safety. I didn't even feel anything there. I think it was small. I like when they come in, when they come in landing, it's cool. In YouTube videos, it seems like these planes are coming in every second. It was a half an hour since the last one, so I'm not sure, but we're gonna go to Mullet's Bay and come back later and watch the planes because the beach will fill up faster over there. I was just about to say, watch when we leave, one will come in and one just went in right now. Okay, anyway, I will come back watch more planes after. I think you can still see it from that beach too. This beach should be a lot better than that one. I guess if you really wanted, you can uh, check online and schedule it and see when the flights are coming in. That would, that would probably be best. I don't know the exact directions, we're just kind of asking people along the way. Everyone keeps saying five minutes, ten minutes. I know it's not that far, but hopefully we're going the right way right now. It seems like more planes are coming in now that we left. Maybe we were just too early. There's one right there. We're gonna get a umbrella and a chair. What'd you say it was? Five dollars? Okay. Okay, this is Mullet's Bay. And here you go. It looks uh, a little rocky though. Right here, out there, doesn't seem too bad. Five dollars a chair, five dollars an umbrella. It's got a big slope here, a lot of rocks. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you know my updated thoughts later on, but so far yesterday's beach is still number one. Let's see how this water is. Maybe snorkeling is better here since there's the rocks. I think it's time to go for a swim. There is no rocks or shells or anything. It's perfect sand right here. This beach is a little bit better for snorkeling than yesterday. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to change my mind. It's, it's pretty damn nice. And that's how far we are from the beach, so I'm just gonna snorkel and see what we can find. Could go over there. It might be good snorkeling by the rocks, so maybe we'll have to take a little walk over there. But there are some random rocks in here. The water is super clear. The end here, there's not 
too many rocks to go in the beach here so maybe get a beach chair over here here it's all soft very soft except for there's some rocks here i'm sure there's better snorkeling over here so let's give it a shot Water is literally like a swimming pool. It's so nice. I did change my mind over the last few hours at this beach. I really like it. It's pretty good. It's not bad for snorkeling. Uh, you don't have to go too deep and you can see some fish, so it's pretty good. Did the fish scare you? <laughs> it's big, huh? Walking in kind of sucks, just swim over it and it'll be okay. This place is pretty nice. We have a snack bar here, Rosie's snack bar. This is 25. If you want it, I make it 24. That's okay. They're very nice, but no thank you. But they do have a porta potty washroom. No full restrooms. It's a public beach. Would be nice if they had one. I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that. I must say, I, I definitely judged this beach at first sight. I mean, it didn't look bad. Like, this view is nice. Like, look at that view. It's amazing, right? The rocks really threw me off. But the water is like swimming pool water. Great for beginner snorkelers. You can see some fish really close to the shore. You don't have to go deep. Once you swim over these rocks, the water is amazing. Definitely recommend coming to this beach if you're in port. Very nice. We're gonna start walking back to the first beach we were at with the airplanes. People usually call it airplane beach. So we're gonna go over there, see a couple, and then get the taxi ride back to the ship. We gotta be back on at 4, 4.30. Okay, just in time. One's taking off. Now there's more people here. As you can see the beach is a lot busier now than this morning and it seems like planes are coming in and out faster now so if you're gonna come I suggest coming later in the day so go to that beach first and then come here that's better right yeah because we only saw a few this morning make sure if you're standing there by the jet blast keep your stuff pretty close to you because it does blow away I saw a few things blow into the water on the big planes the little ones it doesn't really do much Oh, there's a few things going in the water. Oh, they lost that. And we're back in port, going on the ship now. Time to eat, and I'm really thirsty right now. scope out the buffet here. The last couple days it hasn't been too good, so if it's not that good, back to Guy's Burgers. Ah, maybe I'll get that too. We'll see. The theme today is all American. This is definitely the best thing on the ship, I think. This is my favorite, the pig patty. Okay, pig patty, fries, blue iguana burrito with everything on it, and some popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. The buffet? I don't know, this buffet is not that good. Yeah, burrito, burger, my favorite things on the ship. I know it looks like I'm eating a lot. Well, I am eating a lot, but keep in mind, I did not have too much for breakfast, so I'm really hungry right now. So let's get some pizza and jelly. Okay, I got the meatball, I'm gonna try that, and I got the Cuban and pizza. Both are okay, all their sandwiches are good. I like the deli. Goodbye. pretty full right now basically we're just gonna rest for a bit shower change get ready for dinner it's the formal night we'll watch sunset before that 
because I can't eat right now. <laughs> I eat too much there. Being out in the sun all day is very tiring. The airplanes, we were trying to take a picture of it coming in. Every time we waited for the picture, it wouldn't come. Well, the best is to look at the schedule of the day and know when they're coming in if you're really into that stuff. And uh, yeah, it, it got, it, it's hot, but Save Our 10 was nice. On to the next one. We just watched Sail Away, so I'll see you in a little bit. I'm all ready for formal night. Nobody will know I have pizza socks on, except for you, because you're watching this. Tonight is formal night. Everyone gets all fancy for dinner. I think that means it's lobster night. There should be lobster. I'll get that if they have it. Yeah, everyone dresses up. Some people way more fancy than others. I'm not that fancy, but some people go all out for this. Let's see the quality of the lobster. It's good. I asked him for two. He's bringing the other one. Lobster approved. Round two. That was very good. Chocolate lava cake that I get every night. This is you want to see my favorite part of this, this ice cream. And just let it melt right there. This molten lava cake is the go-to dessert. And now we're gonna watch a show. I have no idea what the show is. Yes, I am full. I am very full right now. There's a comedy show after this too. It's our last showing of the night, which means I need all of your energy and I need you to be ready, okay? So enjoy it. Sing along, dance along, clap along, and have some fun tonight, okay? Now We're just gonna go watch the comedy show now. The last show was, was that. Nothing special, so please, ma'am, don't let me explain that one. Uh, uh, gonna go to sleep now tomorrow we're in st. Kitts, so I'm sure it's gonna be another fun day we're gonna find a nice beach to go to tomorrow thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow good night